For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On April 28th, Colombian citizens, trade unions, social movements and opposition political parties participated in a national strike in cities and towns across the country. Hundreds of thousands protested in rejection of the Sustainable Solidarity Bill, a new tax reform bill presented to the Congress by the far-right government of President Ivan Duque to compensate for the fiscal deficit incurred due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The controversial bill was presented by the Duque government as a tool to allegedly alleviate poverty in the midst of this crisis. However, in the name of solidarity, the government seeks to pass a tax reform that increases the VAT on staple goods, fuel, etc., to expand the tax collection base, to increase tax on agricultural inputs, to increase tax on pensions, to freeze wages in the public sector until 2026, to eliminate subsidies on various public services, to impose toll tax on roads connecting countrysides with cities, etc. Colombian people also mobilized against the violence faced by communities in the country at the hands of the state and paramilitary groups. Movements declare that a genocide is being carried out against them with the complicity of the state. Since the Havana Peace Accords were signed in 2016, 1,164 social leaders, human rights defenders and demobilized members of the FARC have been assassinated. So far in 2021, 33 massacres have been carried out. This strike took place amid government efforts to declare it illegal and suspend it. Various government authorities called to postpone the mobilizations due to the third wave of COVID-19 in the country. A day before the strike, the right to public protest was suspended on April 28th and May 1st, revoking permissions for anti-government protests and Labor Day celebrations. The decision was widely rejected by trade unions, social sectors and the opposition. Leaders of the National Strike Committee, which brings together a diverse group of social organizations and trade unions, declared that they will go forward with the strike as planned. La Campaña Defender La Libertad, or the Defend Freedom Campaign, pointed out that the court orders do not sympathize with the reality of the country, the climate of dissatisfaction, and imposes an unreal condition such as herd immunity which is uncertain. Therefore, the measures become innocuous or empty and unattainable by the citizenry. The protesters denounced the Sustainable Solidarity Bill as a hard blow to the middle class, calling it Duque's neoliberal package. They stressed that it threatens the economic stability of workers, pensioners and people with lower incomes and will only increase poverty and inequality in the country. The massive mobilizations, road blockades and cultural acts were met with heavy repression with the highest levels seen in the city of Cali. According to reports by human rights organizations, at least 73 people were detained, 14 raids were carried out, 10 attacks were registered against human rights defenders and 78 complaints of police violence were registered. The total number of injured has not been confirmed. Four people are alleged to have been killed by police, including 21-year-old student Juan Diego Perdomo, who before being killed had written on social media, if I don't come back, it was the state that killed me.